Hey, yo, man, check it out. This is Black Nero, a.k.a. D-Boy the Year. And I want to give a special shout out to Mikey T, the movie star, man. Stay tuned, you dig? So another one of those records you were talking about is um, the joint you put together with Beanie Siegel and Cassidy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what kind of a relationship you got to have with Beanie Siegel? I got a great relationship with Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel is my favorite rapper out of Philadelphia. He's the best rapper to ever come out of Philadelphia. I tell him all the time. I say the interviews. And it's no, no disrespect to nobody. I just think Beanie Siegel just different. I've been in cyphers with that man, and I seen everybody on the block, 30 people on, 20 of us on Siegel Street, and all he had to do, everybody laughing and joking, or somebody can say a rap, and everybody, yeah, he just said this, and, and, and Siegel can say, hey, yo, and everybody shut up and look at him. Like, it was crazy. Like, he was, his voice, his delivery, his style, everything that he said was dope. So, um, I already had a relationship with him um, since. I used to pull up on Siegel, man, and sip juice together, and Every day I was out South Philly, so I would always go over there and see Siegel. And when Meek was on house arrest, I used to go over there and see Meek every day almost when he was on house arrest because I stayed out South Philly a lot. So our relationship is dope, man. When Siegel went to jail, he probably didn't know. I wrote him. I sent him pictures. Same thing I do with Ab. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I come from a different era, whereas though I, I move different than a lot of people. Sometimes it turn around and bite me in my ass, or sometimes it people recognize who I am genuinely, and we remain that close. Um, so anything I ever asked Seek to do, he rock out and we still, we just talked the other day and, um, yeah, we just got a dope relationship. You know, what did you think about Jay-Z coming in and embracing the Philly talent, putting together state property? Same thing everybody else thought, man. At that point, it was just like, that gave people hope. You know, I see people come out, you ever see Jalo Beats come out, bam, and people are like, oh shit, Arthur, you see all the producers in the world now. Damn, you can't make it. So everybody want to be producers. You see Sat Beats come out, everybody want to be producers. Then you see Conway, everybody want to be producers. Then when you don't got the, that Conway, that Sat, that Jalo Beats, who's next? You don't see nobody now. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't see, they just, it's like, they might be working, but the hope is lost until somebody say, boom. So when you see that happen, everybody's rapping now. The light is on Philly. They're paying attention attention again they got hove they got boom i mean they got seagull oh shit they got chris they got neat they got freeway they got, they got a whole philly group let me go harder so that happens every once in a while you know what i'm saying where somebody that spark because somebody on a, a higher level come through and embrace somebody from your city and it just make you go harder so that was that was a dope era i was young during that era so you know what i mean i was out there with it yeah and you went on to work with those guys you know yeah. So when did you get the opportunity to meet Cassidy? Was it before he blew up? Yeah, I knew Cassidy. Me and Cassidy from the same neighborhood. Me, Cassidy, Eve, um, Cicero. We all from up here. So they was younger. You know, they was younger than me. So um, I used to see Cassidy a lot, you know. Um they used to just be rapping. They used to come down to the block. I've been New Cassidy for a long time. So our relationship was always dope. And on that note, with, Cat, with Cassidy, um, the reason why I was so tight with him, even when he would go through his moments where people wasn't fucking with him or try to put rocks in his pocket while he's going downhill, I never did that. I never traded on him. And people used to be, I used to hear people saying, you still messing with this nut ass nigga, you doing this, you doing that. Because I never did that because he never I, I don't base my relationship off of other people's relationships. So whatever y'all got going on, I don't intervene with that. You know what I'm saying? Cassidy was the type of guy that whenever I called, he picked up the phone and he was way bigger than me on the rap scene at that point. And um he uh he was on a set of Hotel one time, and I called him, and I didn't even know that, and I called him, picked the phone up. And he's like, yo, Black, I got to call you back. Um, I'm, I'm on a set of um, uh, Hotel. I'm about to do this record with, uh, with Art Kelly. And, and, you know, for people that, somebody to do that, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody to pick up a phone when you on set. And this is when Art Kelly was Art Kelly. They doing a hotel uh, uh, video, you know what I'm saying? So for him to pick up that phone like that, it just made me say, like, yo, this dude, 
whenever I pick up the phone and say, I'm coming to New York, I'm coming here, I'm coming there, he will always answer the phone. And when I get there, he will always show up and, we, and you know, introduce me to people, shoot the song, do the song, shoot the video, put me on his remixes. Man, he would do whatever he had to do. He even put me in the in my name in the in the song when he was going. Him and Meek was having a little uh, rap situation. How did you feel about Cassidy mentioning you during the Meek Mill beef? I didn't feel nothing at all. I knew, you know, it's it's when you battling, man. People gonna say what they gonna say. You know what I'm saying? I don't get. Uh, I'm not a sensitive dude, so you know a lot of people get sensitive to certain things i don't it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me you know i'm cool with both of them cuz behind closed doors i was talking to both of them on the phone anyway when the shit was going on you know what i'm saying so i mean it was just i was shocked he didn't tell me he was going to do it it just happened and you know i was listening to everybody else and it, and it happened like you don't know when that type of shit going to happen like when i said your name when i said earn a name in the joint i don't you know what i'm saying people don't know you just be thinking you be in your zone he probably was in his zone and he just said it I don't right. think Meek took it no type way because I was cool with both of them. Exactly. Like when Drake said A.R. Rab's name and then Ab woke up to all them messages. That's just sort of how it goes. Right. Yep. Yep. Especially, you know, with you having the name that you have in Philly as well, of course, you're going to get brought up here and there. Mm-hmm. But um, sometimes. Are you, uh, are, you a big, are you big on battle rap, Black De Niro? Yeah. Very big battle rap fan. I, um, my, my number one sport is boxing and football and battle rap. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So I watch all the battle rappers. Um, you know, I know what's going on. And, yeah, big fan. So uh, who's your favorite battle rapper of the moment, man? Uh, well, rock is probably always my favorite. Like, I don't like Tay Rock is just like crazy, right? So I like I I don't I don't know if it's a favorite, but I like top five, top five, and that's I probably need a top ten. Rock, good, um, Geechee right now. He's lit. Calico. Um. And uh, I don't know, because there's so many, man. I like I like uh, and, yeah. and Verb on his A game. And Verb, yeah, I like Hollow Verb. It's just it's a good, it's a good joint, man, with so many people, yo. You know what I mean? Even with Philly, it's just like Reed, and it's a lot of people. Bro. Reed just did his thing. So I, I like the more I like personal relationships going. outside of it. Like, I know everybody, but the first person that I was actually really cool with was Hoffa, was Math. Math. Mm. Yeah, so so Mav Cortez, I'm cool with them outside of Battle Rap. Um, of course, everybody know Goods. Um, we probably the closest, and um, yeah, everybody else we just know each other. Me and Geechee uh, developing a nice relationship. He's very supportive and he's dope, man. He's a genuine dude. He couldn't even make it to my movie premiere. He's supposed to be in Jenny. Couldn't make it because he had a battle coming up. But then he couldn't make it to the premiere, so he just sent me a hundred dollars to say donate some tickets. You know, when you do stuff like that, it's like you got somebody that live right around the corner that won't do that shit. So, yo, I want to ask you, um, I want to ask you about um, Cassidy's return to battle rap, though. You know, I've been mm -hmm. big on it. I think he's had a bunch of dope battles, you know, Disaster, Goods, Arsenal, and Hitman Holla. Um, what's been your take on his return to battle rap? I think the one with Hitman was the best one he ever did um probably was expected to beat disaster um i think he's um he's learning more about that 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 is definitely different because you see he's switching it up now it's definitely different um i like it man you know cassidy he, he he's very competitive he's super super duper confident <laughs> so you know it's hard to stop somebody like cassidy because it's just because his mouth alone when he's talking, he's not going to let you just – he just – Cassidy just feels like he's greater than everybody, and there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. So, you know what I mean? I like it, man. He goes in there with that confidence. You don't know what you're going to get out of him uh, at the time, but I don't think he 
got landslide with nobody. I just think he had to learn the ins and outs um, to stepping into a new situation. And I think he's just getting better as he goes. You know, what did you think about Cassidy blowing up when he did on that pop sensation? You know, he blew up on the pop charts after coming up really as being, you know, the, the bull B. Well, but we knew that was going to happen because Cass was on the radio every day. Like, people called up for, like, months, and they got a chance. Like, you'd be a winner. It was a battle rap thing Cosmic Academy had, or Pine 89 or whatever. And every night, people had to call to try and take the championship from Cassie. It didn't happen. Like, everybody, he already had shit on fire. You know, we know things before from your own town before other people know. So in Buffalo, they might be like, Benny the Butcher's coming. But we didn't know he was coming, so he got here. Um. When I used to be in the studio with Norbs and Hoffa, they used to be like, who you, who y'all got here? And I used to be like, we got this kid named Meek Mills. They didn't even know him. And I was like, who y'all got? They like, we got this guy named Vado. I never heard of him. And then as time go on, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with, um, with Cass. We already knew he was sick with it. So it was just like a matter of time. 